Hi everyone, this is Rosalyn from LynnSire.com and today I wanted to bring you a review on these two epilators that I have been using and I want to talk about what I like about them, what I don't like about them, the similarities and differences between these two. Maybe if you're looking into them and you're not sure which one to get or if you're in a budget or you're in college and you want to stop doing waxing because I know that can get expensive. I've paid for waxing for just one bikini session $50. In the long run, I think it could be better to have one of these epilators instead of waxing and just shaving because it's gonna save you money and you might end up liking the results even more. So in case you're wondering what an epilator is, basically it takes off the hair from the root. Unlike shaving, shaving will only cut the hair and it will grow back so quickly, maybe within two days, three days, and with waxing, lasts for a long time, so maybe up to four weeks, six weeks, so an epilator is about the same. So let's get started. So first I want to talk about the differences. As you can see, this is the purple one, the Enjoy Soft Caress, and this is the Enjoy Imagine. And clearly, you can already see this is a little bit bigger than this one. This one comes with 36 tweezers and this has double the amount with 72 tweezers. So you can see that here as well. Another difference, this is rechargeable. So this is great if you're going on a weekend getaway, if you're going on vacation for a few days, you might want to end up recharging this one. And then this one, the downside is you can only use it if it's plugged in. This one will last about two hours. The tweezers for this one is made out of 24 karat gold and then the tweezers for this one is made out of silver. This covers more space so you will tend to finish much faster with this one. This one you will find it for about $50 and this one costs about $70 so it's not much of a difference. Okay, so now I want to talk about what they have in common. So both can be used on the upper lip area, the chin, your underarm, arms and legs, and bikini area. And both comes with two buttons with a switch in the center that you have to press in order to be able to move it up to a slower speed or a faster speed. I think both are pretty much compact, so I think they're great for traveling. I mean. I know this one is a bit smaller, but just in general, both are pretty small to me. They both come with treble pouches, the cleaning brush, the power cord, and the loofah. And now let me talk about my experience with them. So ever since I got this one, I have been using this more often. The price is not much of a difference, only $20. Or maybe you could even find it even for less on eBay or Amazon. So this one I've had for about five years. And in the beginning, it used to work perfectly. The only downside to this is that with time, it's going to work less and less without the power cord. So if I want to use this one, I have to use it plugged in. If not, it barely runs on its own. As you can see, if I have it on the lower speed, it barely runs. And if I put it on my skin, it stops. You see? And then if I put it on fast, it starts working again. It kind of stops. And then this one I've had for about two months and I love it so far. This one definitely takes less time to use because it has double the tweezers. I recommend this one if you want to take less time epilating. So I love this one and ever since I got this one, I have stopped using the other one. If you want to epilate much faster and if you don't mind using this one while plugged in. So as far as epilating with this one, I use this one on my underarm and let me tell you in the beginning it does hurt a lot until the first few times even until today I cringe a little bit but it's not as bad as the first time and the hair grows so thin and it's not so thick as before and it leaves the skin so smooth and soft um, on my arms I've never used it on my arm to be honest I am scared I always feel like a lot of pain in my arm so I'm not considering using this on my arm in the near future maybe someday um, I've never used this on my upper lip or my chin area so I don't know about those areas but as far as far as my legs, my hair, I used to be, I, I have never met a person with as much hair and thick hair on a woman but myself. 
I've seen it on guys, but not on a lady. My hair was so, so bad. So I've used this on my legs, and to be honest, I don't like it on my legs. I do and I don't. I like it, it will remove the hair, but there's two things that happens. I always exfoliate and even so I get ingrown hair so I have to be plucking them out with a tweezer and it leaves the skin so dry so I have to make sure that after I epilate I moisturize with an oil even when I use this on my legs I still feel like a cactus I still feel those tiny little hairs and it doesn't matter how many times I pass this through it will still leave those baby hairs so I still have to shave to make the skin stay soft and in the bikini area I thought it was gonna hurt a lot but I was surprised that it didn't hurt much as I thought so I use this in my bikini area and I love it I don't do the full bikini I don't know if that's even recommended I've heard just the bikini area but I maybe I'll try the full bikini Okay, to get the skin ready, all you need is the loofah sponge and all you do, you can use it either dry or wet and you just rub it on your skin on all sides, so make sure to go from top to bottom and side to side. Once you're done with that, you want to apply baby powder and that's going to help to absorb all the oils and make the epilating experience more effective. Just apply it on your skin. That way when you use the epilator, it's gonna grab onto the hair more easily. And I always use it at nighttime after I shower when I know that my skin is super clean and fresh. So now your skin is ready to be epilated and I'm gonna put it in the lower setting, number one. down side to side and in an X motion because the hair goes in all different directions and that's it as you can see I have a smooth skin and no more hairs and if you want to use it on the leg just the same steps just make sure to loofah to prep your skin same thing I applied this natural baby powder by Burt's Bees I just start epilating. For my legs, I like to use number two. Once your skin is all ready, all I do to moisturize my skin is I apply almond oil. And I just apply like a dime size and just rub it on the skin. So I hope you have enjoyed this review and demo on the two Enjoy epilators that I have. From now on, I use the red one, the Imagine. So depending on your needs or what you're looking for, I hope somehow this has been useful for you to find the right one. So I'll see you until my next video and thanks for watching. Bye!